Good morning. It's one of the last few days of summer, so we decided to take advantage of it. So today, me and Jamie are gonna go to Starved Rock in Illinois. Never been there before, even though we live just about an hour and a half away. So we're really excited to check it out today. Okay, we are going to Starved Rock. I'm so excited. It should be a good day. Yeah. Starved Rock State Park may be one of the best day trips you can take from Chicago. The park hosts over 2 million visitors annually, the most for any Illinois state park. According to the Starved Rock Lodge, Starved Rock State Park was voted the number one attraction in the state of Illinois. But according to TripAdvisor, it's ranked at number 22, with three shopping malls ranked above it. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt and all. It took us about two hours, but we did make it to Star Rock. It's already it super busy, but we narrowly avoided having to use a porta potty, so we are off to a great start. Don't let the porta potty fool you. Go inside, there are decent bathrooms at least. Which one do, do you want to do, French Canyon first? Yeah. With over 2,600 acres and more than 13 miles of trails, the park is characterized by its 18 canyons, which feature vertical walls of moss covered stone formed by glacial meltwater. Many of these canyons feature waterfalls, which makes Starved Rock a great place to visit year round, even when the waterfalls freeze over in the winter. This is really cool. Yeah, it is. It'd be fun if there was no one here. Yeah, yeah. I know. Okay, we made it to French Canyon. First one on the trip. It took like 10 minutes maybe to get here. So really close to the parking lot and really, really pretty. This might actually be the prettiest one we've seen today. It's really cool though. I liked it. It was nice. It was fun. We were saying it'd be really cool if nobody else was here. Yeah. Obviously, I'm sure everyone else is thinking that too. But we kind of got like a good, like a more quiet time in there, which was yeah. nice. I just can't believe something like this is in Illinois. Like Illinois to me is so flat, and like we've lived here our whole lives, and yeah. I still just can't believe this is yeah. like an hour away from where we live. So one thing to be aware of at Starved Rock is there are a lot of stairs to certain attractions. We don't even know where we're going right now, but hopefully the stairs are worth it. Wildcat Canyon has viewing decks on either side of the canyon, which are just a short walk away. Before European contact, the area was home to Native Americans, particularly a subtribe of the Illinois who had a village extending along the bank of the Illinois River across from the current park. By 1683, French explorers had established Fort St. Louis on a large sandstone butte overlooking the river. They called La Roche, or the Rock. So that is Starved Rock. There are various local legends about how Starved Rock got its name. The most popular is a tale of injustice and retribution for the assassination of Ottawa leader Pontiac, who was killed in 1769 by a Peoria Brave, a subtribe of the Illinois, while attending a tribal council. Vengeance arose in Pontiac's followers and a great battle started. According to the legend, the Ottawa, along with their allies the Potawatomi, avenged Pontiac's death by attacking a band of Illinois along the Illinois River. The Illinois climbed the 125-foot sandstone butte to seek refuge. But the Ottawa and Potawatomi surrounded the bluff and held their ground until the hapless Illinois died of starvation, giving rise to the name Starved Rock. The area around the rock was designated a National Historic Landmark in 1960. 
So we didn't even say why we were here today. We just decided that we haven't really been tourists in our own city yet. I mean, we love doing adventures in other places, but kind yeah. of realized like we need to take advantage of stuff that Illinois has to offer as well. I was gonna say, would you recommend it? Would you come back? Yeah, I would. I think it would be fun to come in the fall when like, yeah. the leaves are changing. It's a little bit cooler. The park offers a few spots to take a break and have lunch or a snack. We opted to head into the nearby town of North Utica for a lunch break. We took a little lunch break at Canal Port in town in North Utica. It was actually super cute. Like the yeah. town itself was really cute. We had a lot of fun shenanigans. We went to Skooks. We went to Skooks. We definitely crashed a wedding party. Andy and Beth, we love you guys. Good luck to you in your future marriage. Yeah. And now we are back. We heard that there was another parking lot closer to LaSalle Canyon, which is where we're headed now. And I got us there through now. You did, I'm really so. proud of you. So we are gonna see where this path takes us. The parking lot was actually closed because they're redoing it, but yeah. we just parked there anyway. Wow, like across, across the, the way. I went through all the road close signs. So hopefully this works out and we don't get murdered. If we do, we love you guys. Yep, and it's uh, been real. We've had a good 28, 29 years on this yeah. earth. And uh, <laughs> peace out YouTube. No, we should make it there just fine. Kidding. Okay, so also, we have seen multiple people holding a can of Mountain Dew as their only choice of liquid on these hikes. Like, who does this? Do you do this? Can you please comment below, like, what is going on? Because we are cracking up every time we see it. I guess it keeps them fuel. Okay, we haven't seen anyone so far now that we've been on the trail, so yeah, we might actually die here. Oh, well, at least we didn't die drinking Mountain Dew. True. Yeah, this whole thing should be full of water right now, but it's not. We made it to Owl Canyon, which we didn't expect to see along mm -hmm. the way, and no one's here. It's actually yeah. great. Like We're like in the canyon, there should be water here, but it's yeah. dry. That, to me, that's really cool. It's cool, we got lucky, I yeah. think. I now see some people kind of staring at us, but beyond that, there's nobody here, which is really cool. So I think we came in at a good side of it to yes, see as well. Yes, we did. Nice so if you ever come to Star Rock, make sure you come to the back parking lot mm -hmm. by LaSalle Canyon. Like water comes in between there. Well, we don't know the name of this canyon, but it's really pretty. Again, it's really quiet on this side, Super and nice. there's this like unnamed canyon behind us, and then this way, there's the water. The so. Illinois River? Teacher, right here. She knows what's up. Just kidding, she read it on the map. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, it was fun. Nature, beautiful. Oh my God, Jamie, now that you've made it to the top, how do you feel? Amazing, we're tracking beautiful. You worked so hard to get up there. Did you train? For months. Thank you to uh, all that hard work I've been putting in. Should I try? Yes, you should. Okay. You can do it. I believe in myself. Okay. Deep breath, stretch it out. Think about the prize at the end. Think about it. Ready? There's a Mountain Dew bottle down there. There's a Mountain Dew bottle in there, and nothing about that surprises me right now. Wait, there's literally Mountain Dew. Yeah, there's literally Mountain Dew bottle in there. Mountain Look at this. The Dew. Is this like a Midwest thing that we didn't know about? I don't know, but we get better get on it, because we are Midwesterners. Ew. This is so pretty. Final impressions of Starved Rock. 
The first canyon that we went to, French Canyon, was amazing. And I think that was cool because it was like the first thing that we saw too. But we finally just trekked over to LaSalle Canyon. We weren't sure if it'd be worth it. Totally. The highlight of the day, LaSalle Canyon. It was beautiful. There was a waterfall. Like the end of the day, so there wasn't that many people there, which is really nice. Beautiful. Everything else in between was a nice extra, but French Canyon, LaSalle Canyon, amazing. 10 out of 10, absolutely worth it. I've never seen anything like it anywhere in the world either. So the fact that it's in Illinois is like crazy, kind of blows my mind. Yes. Definitely worth it. Can't wait to get home and take a shower though, because they're sweaty and sticky and covered in bug spray. Yeah. But great day. Great day. <laughs> Till next time. Till next time. Casey, Shay, and Jamie. Out. <laughs> One more stop to make at the end of the day. Ice cream. A giant chair over there, we're gonna go sit in it. Yes, we are. After we go to Skooks. <laughs> Andy and Beth. <laughs> Andy and Beth, congratulations. May you have a long and lovely happy marriage. Oh my God. Say congrats, Andy and Beth. Congrats, Andy and Beth. <laughs>